In this video, the Z-axis lead screw and X-axis motor will be installed. To enable the lead screw to spin freely, we will need to insert bearings into their seats located at the top of the Z-axis rail assembly. Insert the lead screw through the two bearings. At the top, there should only be about a half inch of lead screw protruding above the top bearing. Add the coupling hub to the top of the screw and make sure the lead screw is flush with the bore of the coupling. At the lower portion of the bearing, add a collar to the lead screw as shown here. On the ZY plate, position the anti-backlash nut at the top of the brackets. Use number 8 screws at 1 inch in length to secure the lead nut. Install the Z-axis rail assembly between the V-groove bearings on the ZY plate. You may need to move the bearings along the slot to permit enough space for the Z-axis assembly to fit. Tighten the brackets to the ZY plate. We will now install the X-axis motor. Position the motor so that it can be mounted at the midpoint with respect to the width of the gantry box. This positioning will ensure that the quarter inch rods will have enough length to extend through the gantry sides. Use the number 8 screws at 1 inch in length to install the frame of the motor to the motor mount. Add the rigid couplings to the shafts of the motor and to the quarter inch rods. Add the drive sprocket to the end of the rod. Align this sprocket at the same distance from the gantry side as the idler sprockets for proper alignment. Route the chain over the drive sprocket and under the idler sprockets. Add an eye bolt to the side with the horizontal slot. This horizontal slot will allow for side to side adjustment. Bring the chain through the eye of the eye bolt and string it through the small hose clamp. On the other end, fold the chain over the edge as shown and use two one quarter inch screws at two inches in length with standard nuts and the small wooden piece with two holes to clamp the chain in place.
Tighten the eye bolt to tension the chain. Tension the chain until the chain appears horizontal and there's very little deflection. Repeat these steps for the other side of the gantry.